everyone welcome back to la deutsche vita life in germany made in germany my name is baby and it's wednesday again and i'm bringing to you the german word of the week listen i always tell you that these are words that have confused me that i have i have personally struggled with and i'm bringing them to you today and ev like i'm bringing them to you weekly and let us all learn together let's all just build our german bit by bit I already announced last week that we are going to deal with gewöhnen, sich an etwas gewöhnen und etwas gewohnt sein. Okay, just the verb gewöhnen, gewohnt. What's the difference? So, sich an etwas gewöhnen is um, to get you to be used to no to get used to something. So it's the process whereby you are getting used to something. Okay, don't be confused by the gay. It is not, it is, it's not a participle, it's not some kind of participle, no. It is the full verb in its virgin form, like gewöhnen, it's not participle. So, ich gewöhne mich daran, jeden Mittwoch euch etwas vorzustellen. So, I am getting used to presenting something to you every Wednesday, okay? Or, ich gewöhne mich daran, um, Wasser zu trinken. Ich versuche mich daran zu gewöhnen, Wasser zu trinken oder viel Wasser zu trinken. That is one example. Okay, so I am trying to get used to drinking water. And um, ich gewöhne mich daran, du gewöhnst dich daran. Um, gewöhnte ist like the Präteritum und ich habe mich daran gewöhnt. I have gotten used to. Alright? Now, gewohnt sein is when you're already done getting, getting used to the thing, so let's say um, now I'm used to drinking water, like 1.5 liters of water, which I am, by the way, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, ich bin daran gewohnt, 1.5 liter Wasser zu trinken. Ich bin daran gewohnt, 1.5 liter Wasser zu trinken. So, I am used to drinking water. I'm used to drinking 1.5 liters of water, right? So, that is the example. So, Gewöhnen mit Umlaut is the process, the process of you getting used to the thing. And gewohnt ohne Umlaut is you being done with getting used to it. Another um, word that used to, that sounds similar or is actually looks the same as gewohnt is the participle of wohnen, to live, um, to stay. So, ich wohne hier, I live here, I stay here, right? Um, and then maybe five years later, you ask me, I'll tell you, ich habe mal in Sindelfingen gewohnt. I used to live in Sindelfingen. It also is gewohnt, so that is like a tricky thing because it looks the same, but out of the context, you get to know whether it's, it's talking about somebody staying somewhere or somebody getting used to something, right? So, guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you think. Let me know which words are giving you a hard time as you're learning German. Let's discuss them. Let's break them down. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around. If you have not subscribed yet, do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Yeah. So get... have a productive week ahead. May everything you touch be fruitful. And bis zum nächsten Mittwoch. Tschüss.